The whole gospel to the whole world by the whole church. That is the goal of our organization and especially global missions. Let me share with you some great things that are happening around the world. On the continent of Africa, I'm glad to report to you that Brother Groves just reported from Kenya about great revival taking place there and also in South Sudan. But one of the greatest things that he mentioned was that there is an alliance that's called the Oneness Pentecostal Alliance of Kenya, where 21 oneness organizations are together. The United Pentecostal Church is the largest of those, and I'm so glad to see that we're working together as never before. Received another report from Nigeria in Africa. During the month of July, we were able to purchase three more pieces of property for new church plants, one in Abia State and two in Anugu State. Also, the negotiating another piece of land in the Kaduna State. From Cambodia, glad to report that an entire village was converted in the country of Cambodia. I've asked for more reports on that, and maybe next month I can tell you the name of that village. Also, glad to report that in the country of Namibia, Sister Eichard, who is a retired missionary, 74 years of age, a beautiful picture of her baptizing two ladies that she taught a Bible study to, never too old to be involved in global missions. Also, a regional missionary from Nicaragua, the David and Myra Castrillo family were in Nicaragua just a few weeks ago, and they were attacked on their way home from picking up their kids at school. They were surrounded by 30 masked gunmen who held morteros, AK-47s, and pistols to their heads. They intended to kill them, but God stopped them, and they were unable to pull the trigger. That family is now in the islands of the Caribbean preaching the gospel on the island of St. Martin, opening a Spanish work. From the island of the Dominican Republic, 600 children in, uh, in youth camps. Also glad to report there was a group from Rock Hill, South Carolina, Pastor Eddie Gann, that went and built a church. They were able to put the roof on, the trusses, they painted, they had it ready. But besides building a church building, most of them their first time on the mission field, they were in three different churches where six people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In New Zealand, glad to report that in the local Fijian community, they asked our pastor, Brother Nawasa, to preach there. He preached being led of the Spirit, and at the end of that service, the community, the Fijian community, was so impressed, they said, we want you to come back and preach to us. Also in New Zealand, a Colombian church, a Spanish church starting in New Zealand. You know, the church is around the world. The church is right next door to you. An example of this was there was a person that was baptized in the United Kingdom, how this happened, that person received a revelation about baptism in the name of Jesus through watching a YouTube video of a street preacher in California. That person was ready to go to California to be baptized, but instead they were from the United Kingdom and they were reported about a church in Dunkalk and they were baptized in Jesus' name there. In South America, they just concluded two days ago the South American Conference in Ecuador. 14,000 were in attendance. There were leaders from all over South America. There's great revival that's taking place. I Am Global is working. I Am Global gets missionaries to the field quicker and together with PIMs keeps them there. In the last four years, we have sent 79 missionaries back. We have saved 37.4 years of deputation. I said years. That's 37.4 years that missionaries are on the field and not traveling. What does that mean? It means this. I just went over the African field report for this last year and glad to report that we have grown by 130,000 constituents. This year alone, 15 missionaries were sent back. $2.4 million was pledged, and of that, 86% came in. Please send in your I Am Global offering. We're going to be rejoicing in Louisville, and I believe we're going to send more missionaries back than ever. Thank you for supporting Global Missions. God bless you.